Ever wonder what goes into a parking lot sweeping? Many of our clients are quite familiar with the booking part, but they're not familiar with actually seeing the entire process. My name is Graham, and I'm the owner of Terrace Property Maintenance. In this video, I'll take you along and explain some of the key main steps our sweeping team perform on each job. When our crews arrive on site, first thing they're gonna do is check in if it's required. Now this might include check-in and clearance with a security guard or signing off with management or a building engineer. Once they've signed in, the next step is to check their job site instructions and perform a site pre-job inspection. Now during their inspection, they'll take photos and additional notes of the current ground conditions. They'll move obstacles that might block their way or create hazards, and they'll get familiar with the problem. Property. These notes are kept within our job software and they can be reviewed later by our operations and customer service teams. Now that the paperwork is all complete, it's time to unload the equipment and get to work. The team starts with the corners and the curbs. And these areas are often too small or tight for our larger sweepers to reach and they must be cleaned by hand using shovels, scrapers or backpack blowers. Backpack blowers are only used in certain circumstances. Once the corners are all cleaned out, our sweepers can come in and pick up the debris. Our sweepers are equipped with a gutter broom. And this broom is specially designed to run along curbs and does a much better job than a shovel or hand broom can. You'll also notice that the ground is usually wet. Our equipment houses onboard water sprayers as a dust control measure. Now, dust can easily become airborne and then settle onto nearby surfaces, vehicles, or buildings, leaving behind a mess. However, too much water will also leave behind a mess. Our sweepers work better the drier the conditions are. Once the curbs and corners are all cleaned out, our sweeper moves on to the remainder of the property. While the sweeper is cleaning the middle of the lot, our grounds crew tidies up any walkways or areas the sweeper won't get. When the sweeper is full, it's time to dump the hopper. So that way we can haul away and dispose of the gravel and debris. After the lot has been swept, it's time for a post-job site inspection. For parkades, however, it's time for the next step, which is parking lot scrubbing. Parking lot scrubbers are equipped with an onboard water system, scrubber brushes, a suction system, and squeegees. Think of it like a pressure washer and a vacuum built into one machine. And this machine goes around washing and scrubbing the parkade floor, removing caked on oil, dust, and fine debris. Because it's made for sucking up fine dust, dust particles and cleaning up stains, it cannot clean large piles of gravel without getting clogged. Now this is why a sweeper must be used before we scrub the parkade. The scrubber makes the ground look like brand new again. You'll also notice that some parkades are covered with a special membrane. These membranes can sometimes be harder to get clean. The hardest stain to clean is often rubber from tires. As time goes by, this rubber embeds itself into the membrane, creating a very tough to remove tire track. Unlike our sweepers, scrubbers use a special drain to exhaust everything they suck up. Now our crews will either have notes on where these drains are located in the parkade or they'll perform a site orientation with a building engineer prior to dumping the scrubber. Now that everything is clean, it's time for our teams to perform their post-job site inspection. These photos are added to their job notes and are available for our clients to review in our post-job documentation. In order for our clients to experience the best results when we visit their parkades or parking lots, we recommend providing notification to move vehicles or obstacles before our visit. Now our staff will let our clients know when we're coming through phone call or email notification before our arrival. That way there's tons of time to prepare and have obstacles moved out of the way. We also want to make sure that prior to our visit, our crews will have access to all the areas they need to get to. For Arcades, for instance, that might be access to drains or proper water supply. Now that you've seen a little bit of what goes into our parking lot scrubbing, if you're ready to book, go ahead and click the button right next to this video to the left.